What's up guys, I'm Finn, and I recently got back from Japan for a school exchange program. I was there for three weeks, so I thought I'd show you what art supplies I bought. So starting with the Copics, I bought 15 Copic markers. They're really cheap in Japan. You can get them for about 350 yen a piece. That's about three and a half US dollars. For context, my local art store sells Copics for six dollars each. Next, I got some white pens. This is a Kuratake white brush pen. You can use it to add highlights to your finished drawing. This is just a giant white Posca paint marker to cover large areas with white. I bought this watercolor sketchbook with a slightly unfortunate name, V-Fart. We're very mature here on the channel. I got some watercolors and one tube of white gouache, which are also cheap in Japan, as well as these poster colors, which I'll be making a video about in the future. This is a masking fluid pen that I bought. And lastly, I bought these natural bristle brushes, which I've been wanting to try for a really long time. These are made from squirrel hair, and this one costs $67, so I really hope it'll be worth it. Alright, so I just finished swatching and testing out all the supplies. So now I'm gonna try and make an artwork using just what I bought in Japan, excluding the poster colors, because I'm gonna make a separate video about them. Halfway through when I started adding the Copics after the watercolor layer, I realized there's gonna be no way to make this not streaky without using the colorless blend because the Copics are just really streaky on top of the watercolor. All right, so quick impressions on all the art supplies I bought. This Kuratake white brush pen has really nice, good brush tip. I think the best way to use it though is to squeeze out a little bit extra ink onto a, pair of, a piece of scrap paper so that you can dip the pen in it and get a more opaque line. Um, the post marker I didn't actually use for this piece, but just from the test, it covers pretty well. It's almost completely opaque, but it does seem to leave a little bit of fibers from the tip on the paper. Uh, the Holbein masking ink pen, it's super convenient and the tip is really defined so you can get small details, but the masking fluid itself grips the paper a lot, so you have to be really careful when peeling it off so you don't rip the paper. Uh, Copics, you know, the best alcohol-based markers that you can buy, but they're expensive. So this paper is actually quite interesting. When you're going over it with the first pass of water, it'll actually repel the water in some spots. And lastly, the items I was most nervous about, these brushes. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with them. They're super soft and hold a ton of water, so I think they were definitely worth the money. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.